All right, new video, new day. Going to Dave's house right now, aka the freaking hot dog king, aka now soon to be Father Sky, which is what I'm gonna explain to you guys in a few minutes. Dave is starting back up his clothing brand again, which I know a lot of you guys are probably punching your computer screens right now. Enjoy, but I, I'm also very excited too. So you guys better buy the shit out of Dave's stuff because it's gonna be sick. It's, uh, we're just, we're gonna show you the setup, but you gotta let him kind of explain. But Dale, 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 ho! -ho. Dax's brother for anybody who doesn't know very different looking dogs <laughs> brother from another mother maybe maybe you guys had two different dads who knows all right Dave show us the uh the few <laughs> so we're sticking with father sky it's coming back. back Dave used to print t-shirts back in the day and I actually have a few of them and they're insanely sick um and now he's bringing it back I didn't print them Aaron printed them but now I'm gonna print them so Dave has this shed, and this is where we, when I first started working on my truck and I bring it over, we do stuff in here, and Dave's got all his tools and stuff like that, but this, he added on within like two weeks after work every day. Look at this. Nobody does like Dave. Me and Trey literally got the video from you, and we're like, we're like, F that guy, he's good at everything. The sliding door is sick, dude. This is all wood from work, so I didn't even, all I had to pay for was the plywood. Really? This is already here, because I had this, with no walls to shape surfboards, but I do it like once a year. I can just do it in the yard. I, I needed a space, so Damn. I just rolled it in. So this is it. You got a four screen screen press, and you're just gonna do every shit yourself, one design at a time. Yeah, figure it out. Dave's never printed sh uh, shirts before, but our buddy Aaron is a screen printer, and he does all of our shirts. So he kind of gave Dave the lowdown. So Dave's gonna be selling shirts soon. Gonna get him a big cartel. Get them all set up. You guys are gonna buy him out, make him rich. It's gonna be sick, dude. Dave's never gonna have to work again. All the vape juice he needs. All right, turn of events. We're going surfing. Is this my board, the yellow guy? Yeah. Put my freaking GoPro on. Get out and put it in my mouth or something. Nah, I ain't gonna get up. It'll be all right. Last time I had about a 12 foot foam board, aka canoe, and I couldn't get up, let alone this one. Maybe this is it. This is what I needed. All right, we made it to the beach. All I got is this GoPro and a weird strap. Not really the best. I didn't. I didn't plan for this. All right, I don't have the float flotation device in the GoPro, but I'm not gonna catch anything. Dave says that's fine. <laughs> Why don't we bring a camera? I was gonna be in the water, flailing around, showing you guys a video of just me, just like proof that I came out here, got myself in the water. Hate sharks. Like a sharks. That's why you should bring it out. Oh. 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 He get hit in the dick with a wave. <laughs> We're getting blasts out here, folks. This is woo, National Geographic. Oh, wave the dick. All right, surfing was incredibly unsuccessful, but it was a lot of fun. So, I mean, I guess in part it was successful. Uh, didn't get up really. I mean, I got my feet on the board and stood up, but I didn't catch a wave like literally one time. But. Dex, time to go to Trey's. we we'll build up a new skateboard. Chris Gregson, shout out to the Blood Wizard. Uh, Trey's my distro. Chris Gregson is the uh, supplier. And uh, time to build up a new board for my mediocre skateboarding career. There it is, newborn, all built up. Thanks, Gregson and Distro Trey. This thing's badass, Blood Wizard board. It's insanely heavy compared to my other board, but look how big that thing is. thing is massive. Oh! 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 Thank you, God, that was so bad. Back then, Atlanta, that was a miracle. All right, it's good. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Told you. Oh my god. You ever did that when you were little? <laughs> I didn't even think it went through. Jay, we're sorry, man. We didn't mean to hurt your tool. But we, we could do it to Jabe one day. Dude, if you did that to Jabe, he'd somehow actually like die. No, because if you're riding like this, like I just was, going towards this quarter, and you do it on accident, and you flip over into here. Out. Dave's just full of like elementary school tricks today. Nice one, dude. New board test clips. Support is working great, pro already. All right, getting back into the van today, Dax. We got to fix something that's been bothering us for a little while now. We got to fix the bumper. So as you can see, I think this was used to be like longer, or something happened. They shortened it, so they welded it back. But obviously, when you weld it, you kind of create that rust mark, and it kind of did away with the normal paint of this car. So what I'm going to do right now is. I'm gonna grind all these welds down to make it flush and then I'm gonna repaint this bumper black. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna basically just kind of bag it all off, tape it all off, make sure everything's all good, and then spray it black with some gloss black paint and uh, we'll see how she looks. So I gotta sand the whole entire bumper down. So I'm gonna get going on that first and then kinda, I'll show you guys the step-by-step -step process. Dax, you gotta help me, dude. All the welds cleared off. We got to basically tape this whole thing up, make sure there's no overspray on the good paint, and uh, we just gotta get straight to straight to paint. We'll get a nice first layer on here, let it dry for a little bit. Get a second layer on there, let it dry for a little bit. Get a nice third layer on there, let it dry for a bit, and then uh, I bought paint that's like a two-in-one clear coat combo, so we should be good. Well, it's black. I definitely liked it, the gray with a little bit of rust better. Personally, I kind of just like that better, but I know if someone's coming to buy this thing, they'd rather it all be like kind of matching it. It does work well, that black stripe that goes around the whole entire van. I don't mind a little bit of that patinaed look, but I know, again, as I said, someone who wants to buy this, they want this thing to be clean, mean, and ready to go. So that's what we did. Got that dialed in. Only a few more things in this van build, and it should be ready to be listed. Um, Basically, we just gotta figure out what we're gonna do to cover that dog box, which I'll show you guys what I'm talking about with that real quick. 
That thing right there is a dog box and there's usually like a cover that goes above it. And as you guys can see right now, there's no cover on it. We have the cover for it, but it's kind of a little bit janky. So we're kind of repairing it because we tried to find one. They're impossible to find and even broken, they still go for a ton of money. So it's better to keep it original and it is an original piece because it says 1989 on the back of that thing where it was made. And it was weirdly made in a Canadian factory, which I thought was kind of funny because American made car, but they have Canadian plastic in there. Maybe I don't really know. It's kind of funny, but uh, we're gonna try to get that thing going And then other than that, uh, just one more piece of trim and this thing's ready to go up. I can't wait